Taylor Hall may be the luckiest human being on planet Earth. Okay, maybe that's hyperbole, but the guy's gonna play with Bedard! The guy played with McDavid, the guy's gonna play with Bedard, he had all these trades and other team situations, Buffalo, Arizona, Boston in between. But Taylor Hall has just been traded to the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, these trades were announced, or this trade, what do I mean, these trades? It was announced like 20 minutes ago, Sarah Bailey and Friedman had themselves the scoop, but the real person who had the scoop at the very beginning was actually... And if you're a YouTube fan, which I think most of you are because you're watching this on YouTube, it was Don't Be Sod. Yeah, the NHL gamer guy. He ended up tweeting this an hour ago, and this is exactly what went down. So, like, look, I don't know if Don't Be Sod actually has NHL insider information feeding this to him, but this is very much exactly what it looks like. Felino and Taylor Hall over to his hometown Chicago Blackhawks. So... Yeah, don't be sod, NHL insider right here. He beat Friedman, he beat Saravelli, but it is Saravelli who has everything and the details first out of every other insider that's mainstream and on TV. Take a look at this. The NHL's Chicago Blackhawks are receiving Taylor Hall, which is the prize here, and the rights to UFA Nick Foligno. To the Bruins, you're getting yourselves the rights to two RFAs, Ian Mitchell and Alec Regula. No salary retained by Boston. This represents a pure salary dump to clear $6 million off the Bruins' books. This is a phenomenal trade for Chicago. Not only are you getting a guy who is, you know, is going to eat up some money because you've got a bunch of salary cap space available to you, $6 million per season till the end of 2025. Also, he has a modified no trade, so we actually had to get that waived in order for this trade to go through but you're getting yourselves a player who can play with Bedard. Hall and Bedard, dude. Hall knows what it's like to play with first overall generational talents. He did that in Edmonton with McDavid. And now he's going to do that same thing in Chicago with Bedard. Last season, he had 36 points in 61 games played. Not amazing, but he did come alive in the postseason. Eight points in seven games against the Panthers. The season before that, though, he had 61 points in 81 games. So a very good bounce up for production for Taylor Hall. Especially when you compare it to that Buffalo season that he had. My goodness. But Hall, we all kind of recognize the journey he had. First overall pick by Edmonton. Traded to New Jersey. He won the heart. He had 90 points in 2018. Then he went over to Arizona. Went over to Buffalo, Boston, and now Chicago. He's got... How many more years is that? Two more seasons on this contract at $6 million a piece. He's 31 years old. But realistically, for Chicago... This is going to help them out a lot more than this trade is going to help Taylor Hall's career. This is going to help them out a lot more than, I guess you could say, the Bruins, because the Bruins are freeing up that $6 million in salary cap space. You're also getting rid of Felino. This may be a guy that if the Chicago Blackhawks decide to re-sign, this is a really nice veteran presence. I mean, Felino was the captain in Columbus for so long. Sure, he's not amazing point production-wise. He had 26 points in 60 games played. But these are the types of guys that you win with. And for Felino. If the Blackhawks really wanted to capitalize, they just go out there and send the guy a contract, sign him before the free agency period begins and be like, yeah, we traded for you, we want you on the team, we want you to help out these younger guys, help out Connor Bedard alongside of Taylor Hall. And going over to the Boston Bruins, you have yourselves two guys that I actually kind of like a lot. Two right-handed defenseman prospects in Ian Mitchell, 24 years old, and Alec Regula. He's 22 years old. Both of these guys played in the Rockford Ice Hog system. Regula had 21 points in 51 games played. Meanwhile, Ian Mitchell had six points in five games played. Mostly, he played in the NHL, actually, which is good for him because I've been a really big fan of Ian Mitchell ever since his days with the University of Denver. And so this is a pretty interesting trade wherein the Bruins are able to free up the money and they're also getting younger. They needed prospects. They needed guys to help them out. And they're getting two pretty quality right-handed prospects on defense at that. So it's not like Regula and Mitchell are going to become full-time mainstay NHL guys for the Bruins anytime soon. I mean, maybe it happens within the next few years, but this is important for them because they're freeing up that Taylor Hall money. They could go out there, navigate this free agency market, maybe make a few other trades to get some other guys and they're not going to be held down by that $6 million AAV. For Chicago, though, this is great, because you're going to play Hall with Bedard. Man, that's going to be a great pairing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What are your opinions about this trade? The Blackhawks and the Bruins have gotten a deal done. I hope you enjoyed this video. And...
Bye.